In this video, I'm going to talk about the five worst pieces of advice that are keeping you overweight. Now, this is not an exhaustive list, and if you've got other worst pieces of advice that you've been given or you've heard other people say over your life, I would love it if you could put that in the comments below. And just before we get started, guys, do me a massive favor, smash like and also please subscribe. This really helps out the channel and I am grateful for your support. Let's get started. Losing weight is all about taking in less calories than you expend. And how easy life would be if this was actually true. If you want to lose weight, all you've got to do is stick to eating 1500 calories a day and expend 2000 calories a day. Trouble with this equation is, is it assumes that your body actually knows what a calorie is. And if it does, it's going to treat every single calorie exactly the same way. Assuming your body does understand what calories are, is it going to treat one calorie of steak the same that it would with one calorie of chocolate? Highly unlikely. Steak and chocolate both have a different impact on your body. And if they impact your body differently, how can we actually say a calorie is just a calorie? The long-term impact of this advice is it puts a lot of people into a nutritional deficit where they're eating less and less calories to be able to maintain a weight that they're happy with. And it's going to do damage to their body in one way or another. The next one is you are not exercising enough and that's why you're not burning fat. Trouble is, there is no way to outrun a bad diet. As we've already talked about, the type of food you are eating is going to impact your body in different ways. And if you're eating processed junk foods, or you're eating the wrong foods for your body, it doesn't matter how much exercise you do. You're still poisoning your body. It's like drinking some cyanide every day and saying, yeah, but I take a shower, so I'm going to be okay. You're not, and you're going to end up killing yourself. Next one is, fiber is essential to gut health. No, it's not. Ask anyone who's doing a no-fiber, high-fat diet. The next one is, fat makes you fat. And this is another one similar to calories in, calories out, that is designed to be so simplistic that people just accept it as the truth. Fat makes you fat. Of course, of course, that sounds logical. The reality is a lot different and the reality is a lot more nuanced. But the bottom line is the real cause of being fat is high sugar diets. It's chemicals and preservatives added to our food and it's food processing. No other species that hasn't been domesticated has to think about their diet like this. They just eat what's in front of them, the same thing they've always eaten. If you're a lion, you eat a gazelle or whatever. If you're a giraffe, you eat leaves. And that's all you eat. We're the only species that has taken it upon ourselves to design our own food. And we are the only species that gets unhealthily overweight and obese. Of course, dogs and cats can get overweight and obese, but that's because we're giving them the same kind of treats that we give ourselves. A tiger in a cage doesn't get fat. It remains muscular because it's going to continue to eat the raw meat that you throw to it. Throw an ice cream into that cage and it's going to look at that and say, what the fuck is this? The next one is that balance is important for health. No other species eats a balanced diet. We've convinced ourselves we need a balanced diet so that we can be marketed to and so that we can feel good about mealtimes. Think about how many companies would go out of business if you suddenly realized you don't need balance or variety in your diet. So guys, those are the five worst pieces of advice that I've heard over my life about diet and nutrition. I'm sure I've missed some and so I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.